everybody it's Angie the coder and today it's the Sunday after Valentine's Day and you know true to my normal uh, true to normal form for me I am a little bit late to the party here because all of a sudden I got the urge to do a video about the cardiovascular system in honor of Valentine's Day so you know if those of you that know me that have met me and know me you know this is completely normal for me to be a couple of days behind and <laughs> so but I hope you appreciate it anyway I'm going to try to keep it really short because the last video was super super long but today what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about ICD-10 coding in relationship to heart disease specifically heart disease with hypertension so let's just jump right on in all right, so say you have a patient and their diagnosis is congestive heart failure, unspecified, because, you know, sometimes doctors aren't that specific. Um, and then hypertension. And you might be tempted to code it. Your primary diagnosis is I-50.9, and your secondary diagnosis is I-10 for the hypertension. But that would be wrong. And the reason why that's wrong is because there is a causal relationship that is assumed when a patient has heart disease and hypertension. The assumption in ICD-10 is that the heart disease is caused by the hypertension. How we would code this would be hypertensive heart disease, I-11.0, as the primary so see, I put now I've moved the hypertension code, the I11.0, up to the primary, and then the congestive heart failure code, I50.9, would be listed second. And the reason why we know this is because ICD-10 ICD tells us this, and I'm going to show you that real quickly. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going out to the internet to Google, which we're all familiar with, and all you're going to have to do here is type in. ICD-10 guidelines 2020. You can see I've already done it because there it is. Now a couple of things come up. The one I go to is the one right here that says 2020 ICD-10 CM guidelines. And this is on the cms.gov website. Now before I go out there I'm going to say really quickly I'm sure a lot of you, especially you guys, have been coding for a while. You, you're sitting there saying, Angie, 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 the ICD-10 guidelines are right in the front of the 2020 code book. They are. But some of you may be vision impaired like me. <laughs> I, you know, I've got my little glasses on, and I still have trouble sometimes seeing those teeny tiny little font in the ICD-10 guidelines in the front of the book. If you're like me, if you go here, and then... Once you get to the CMS website, go right here to where it says 2020 guidelines. Then very quickly, you can pop you up a version of this in a PDF format. You can save it to your desktop, print it up, do whatever you want to with it. But I like to keep a copy on my desktop. But see how you can make it, you know, bigger or smaller, make it more comfortable for your eyes. Another cool thing about this that you can't do in the front of the code book is you can go down and find your what you need and in this case what we need is the chapter guidelines for chapter 9 you just click right there anywhere here and it takes you straight to it so there's no flipping you know uh, that book gets heavy <laughs> I love my ICD-10 book but this is so much easier for me when I want to be able to look at the guidelines another cool thing is that you could copy and paste say you had a doctor who was disagreeing with you and you wanted to show him where you got it you could copy and paste you could email this to him you know it's just it's a really nice way to get these guidelines I think personally so we're gonna we're gonna what we're gonna talk about today is I'm trying to get it big enough so you guys can see it is this hypertension with heart disease section right here and basically what this is saying is if a person has hypertension and they also have heart conditions classifiable too, and they list all the different heart disease categories or uh, conditions that are, would be classified, um, that what you would do is you would first assign a code from category I-11, which is the hypertensive heart disease category, and then your secondary code would be from the category for like the heart failure. 
So this would be your official guidance unless the physician says that the documents that they are unrelated, that the heart disease is unrelated to the hypertension. In that case, you would sequence according to the circumstances of the admission or the encounter. But this is what we mean by it's assumed. So this is the guidelines we would follow. We would assume that we would code the I-11 primary followed by one of the I-50 codes secondary unless the provider actually said that the hypertension did not cause the heart disease. He has to specifically say that. Otherwise, we assume, we are to assume that that congestive heart failure is hypertensive. And so now that we have the guidelines to tell us how to do this, I'm going to take you out, since I can't really pull my code book up on here, I'm actually going to take you out to um, the AAPC coder that I use. Okay, so here we are out on the AAPC coder. And so I'm going to put in my I-11 and show you what it looks like. So you can see the description. We're going to zoom in a little bit and slide up a little bit. So I-11.0, it says code for hypertensive heart disease with heart failure. So my patient has heart failure. So it'll say, it says down here, use additional code to identify the type of heart failure that the patient has. So this would be your principal or primary diagnosis code. And then you would flip here to the I-50 codes to get the one that you need. I happen to know that my provider said just congestive heart failure. They weren't specific. So I'm going to put I-50.9 in. And you could look it up the hard way, but I know what the code is. So I-50.9, and if I zoom in for you, come down here, and it says congestive heart failure, not otherwise specified, which is, or just congestive heart failure. So that explains why the correct ICD-10 coding for hypertension with congestive heart failure is hypertensive heart disease, I-11.0, and congestive heart failure, I-50.9 in the second position. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what I'm doing, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help. And subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you have any questions about um, the video that did today or any uh, suggestions for future videos, please go down to the comment section and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. You guys are my tribe. Um, Look out for me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and also on Twitter. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.